right, this is Johnny with Rudomatic here at 1245 Sharon Way. Uh, we're taking a look at the sewer line. We've got Orangeburg pipe underneath the addition back here, and you can tell that it's uh, starting here at the cast iron, which is the bathroom in the addition. Uh, we've got this Orangeburg pipe. Uh, it's starting to delaminate, and then there's a few spots where the bottom of the pipe is actually gone. And you can see the these bubbles that form on the right uh, when it's delaminating, and then the holes in the bottom of the pipe underwater here. It's about a 12-foot section. Um, see if we can get any better video here. Pipe might be a little bit flat also. That's pushing water as it's going in. And looks like it's holding on to water through this area as well. Uh, see more of that same, you know, bubble formation and Underwater, it's always worse because that's where the water sits all the time. And then you can see how it's holding this water, you know, an inch and a half of water or so. And then we've got a big rise here also holding water. So that's, that's a big spot where <clears throat> we've got a large bubble formed on the bottom of the pipe and that's gonna wash away and continue the problem. And then pretty soon here we're gonna get back to the clean out and from the clean out oh well, you can see more of that delamination on the right there. Large bubble forming. So a lot going on in that 12 foot section and then uh, is more of that same thing. Another bubble. And then we got some roots growing in from the tree outside. And then there's a spot here where it's gonna drop down. Yep, and this is where the ABS starts. We're right here at the clean out. And then I ran the camera the other direction. I'll do it again real quick just so since we're recording and going out towards the city main, which is in the backyard, about 15 feet off the house. That pipe is in good shape. The tap was not replaced. The city main has a liner in it, but I don't see any problems with this section outside the house. I would recommend replacing that Orangeburg pipe underneath the house. So. Any questions, give a call. Thanks.